Guys, what's up? It is Doug. Welcome to another Trigger King Tech. And today I want to do a quick hit video on explaining, you know, what exactly is a sway bar. So sway bars are extremely important to radio control monster truck racing. And for a demonstration here of what one is to talk about, I've got my friend Dan Ryan, his Pete truck. This is a modified Axial SMT-10. This cage is actually painted silver. This is, uh, it's still plastic. It is not, uh, not aluminum or anything, if you're wondering. But um, he's got front rear sway bars, as everybody should have. Now an SMT-10, an Axial SMT-10 does not include front sway bars. You have to add one, which you must do. And it's easy to add them. You can just get the kit. Um, but anyways, just so you should know, it's a, that's a PSA. You need to have them. Um, but he's got his front sway bars up here. On the back, he's got the sway bars here. They're painted blue. And what a sway bar does is it eliminates chassis sway, or if not eliminating it, it severely diminishes it. So um, what it is, the sway bar actually, these aren't really the sway bars. That's where you can see them. The sway bar is actually inside here. It's the bar that goes through the chassis. These are just the connecting arms to it. And as you can see here, as I press down on the table on the truck here, you can see how when it's running around the track, a sway bar resists the, uh, the urge for the chassis to sway. And if that was to happen, you would have a truck that is roly-poly that would just handle like garbage. This allows the truck to stay stiff and planted, lets the suspension do its work, keeping it on the track for the tires. And uh, that's why it's important. Now for a demonstration of a truck that has no sway bars, this is one of our retro trucks. This is the big orange rat and it doesn't have any sway bars. Sway bars are not legal for the retro class. And uh, the reason is because trucks back in the day didn't have them. We don't want guys running them for that. But because of that, this truck has oil shocks and you see this big chassis sway. Now the chassis is stiff on these older trucks, the geometry, it's not like a modern truck. So they do stay a little bit stiff, but you can still see how it rolls. It's got that roll, the chassis roll, that is not good for handling. And on a modern truck, that would be terrible. Yeah, guys, it's really that simple. Hopefully that helps you understand what a sway bar is and what it does and why it's necessary on a monster truck. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, as always, if you have any questions related to this subject, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys soon on another Trigger King Tech video.